kitchen floors aren't meant to look like this. But this one near Lancaster was hit by a torrent of water. The highest recorded level of rainfall here in 50 years struck last night. This is what it did. There's a mark on the wall there where it came to, yeah. So it was that high? That's right, that's how high it was. Stan Smedley and his daughter Laura now have to clean up. It was getting higher and higher, but, uh, you know, don't panic. That's the thing, don't panic. <laughs> what the worst things in life happen, don't they? But this is just the story of one house. The sodden furniture lined along this street tells you of many more. It was so quick. Like, whilst we were moving stuff downstairs, it was already up to our knees, and then it got to a point where I had to stay upstairs because my brother's taller than I am. Um, I, I, he could stay in the water a little bit longer to bring stuff up, but then we just had to leave it in the end. So it seems after an extreme amount of rainfall last night in a very short period of time, the River Condor overflowed and the water came streaming down this street, filling businesses and properties very quickly. Our priorities were to make sure that the people of Galgate were safe, to evacuate those that needed evacuating and to look after the people who we know were vulnerable people within the area. 27 people were evacuated and more than 100 homes in Galgate were flooded. Livelihoods like at this garage have been affected too. Got a phone call about half past ten last night saying that the cars were floating. The showroom was sort of in sort of knee height and I'm six foot five so uh, that shows you the sort of depth that it got to. Meeting with the emergency services and residents, the local MP spoke of the need to increase flood resilience. It's clear that the government needs to make sure that residents are better prepared um, for flooding because I think it's something we're going to see more of. The climate is changing, it is getting wetter, we will see more incidents like this and being prepared and knowing what to do is a very important skill that I think we need to get out via local councils. It wasn't just Lancashire that was hit last night. Anglesey experienced flash flooding too. Roads and businesses both closed. But here in Goldgate, the attention remains at returning to normality even if that could be quite some time.